Small older women farmers in the Federal Capital Territory have decried the poor level of extension service available to them as they try to provide enough food for commercial purpose. The women farmers made this observation through the dissemination of a community scorecard on small older women farmers' access to extension service organized by Small Scale Women Farmers Organization in Nigeria. In collaboration with Action Aid Nigeria under the Scaling Up Public Investment in Agriculture Project. According to the scorecard, 66.7% of the respondents praised government support as somewhat timely, while 33.7%, including those who could not assess the service, indicated that they do not know as the only extension service available to them was the training on tomato process and preservation. One of the women explained how um, an extension agent came to meet her and actually didn't come, it just came close to her community, asking her to come out and she was, the way she was, actually the word, she wore a high heel. So how would you expect that person to come to the farm? So that is that, um, so they prefer professional agents and at the same time did not come to her farm. We always call her over the phone um, to come or something. So that they will prefer professional agents and also they're asking um, the government to time the support. You know, the rainy season, we are already in it. What are their issues? You know, they need better training, improved training and technologies. Global standard is one extension service to 80 farmers. In this case, 80 women farmers. But it's not possible. I think every day the extension workers are reducing, whether they are retiring or any other thing. So the, the demands are not being met for these smallholder women farmers. The women farmers are asking for more um, um, extension workers, so government to employ more to help them. We are asking government there is a location, but we don't know about the implementation, the uh, expenditure, the actual expenditure. The government buy the mobility, the motorcycles or care for the extension workers. So these are the things the government, we are recommending to government to look into and provide the funds. So the women are clamoring for other trainings apart from this, you know, it's helped them, they know how to preserve their, their tomatoes and they can sell it when tomatoes is uh, quite expensive, but then they need other trainings, they need on-farm demonstrations on new technologies, new seedlings and other things. Federal Capital Territory Administration should provide means of transport for extension workers to enable them reach the smallholder women farmers in the rural areas. The extension are not enough to cover up we farmers. So we want government to put more money so that we will be seeing them in our farms. So that they will tell us how to go without uh, with our farms. The time of my father, we used to see extension for our community to come. They will train them. They will even demonstrate, uh, demonstrate their farm, put them through how they will do. At the end of the year, they will even call them for the uh, exhibition. Uh, it, it will be like competition. Who come first, they will even uh, dash person the bag of fertilizer so that it will uh, motivate others, other farmers. So we need that to be happening again. If our extension are visiting our farms, we will be know how to put things in order. They will teach us. Without money, you cannot do anything. So we need them. If, they, if we want to see them, make government put more money for that extension services so that they will carry out their activities. Some comes, they are not, you will see them, they are not friendly, as in the way they dress, you will know that this is not a farmer. Some will not be ready to go with you to your farm. And again, sometimes when you call them, they will tell you they don't have mobility. So that was why we are here today, that if government can help us, you know, in the area of their mobility, so that we can be able to assess them and they can come to our farm and, you know, take care of our farm for us. Security is the most 
you know, the challenges we are facing. Even we, like now in my farm, the person that is managing it for me, I'm supposed to be there today to plant. But if he is not there with two other people, I won't go. Because sometimes, even when you are entering into the farm, when you see those people, there is this fear inside of you that, ah, <laughs> we don't know what will happen. The food insecurity we are talking about, what we are saying this year, what will happen this year, eh? is only God that will help us. Now, we are talking of uh, beans and other things. If we plant beans, in my farm, I want to plant beans. But my fear is that God, all this money I am putting, that has been my prayer. Hope it will not go in vain. Because when we plant finished, time of harvest, the, the, uh, the cow enters and eats it all. And it took you time to look for those money. Like me, it took me time to get the land. It took me time to cultivate. Now, I will now use all my money. And at the end of the day, I will now have something to bring out.